Let's take the Florida Algebra 1 EOC. You are going to be taking an EOC with me where we're going to be going through all these questions. And the goal is for us to utilize everything that we learned in the past, like with all the math songs that are on this channel, plus like how concepts build on each other to try to get through this. So let's get started. So the first question we got is, oh, wait, let me change this. Sandy and Philippe are participating in a walk for life to raise money for charity. Sandy will raise 30 plus $2.50 for each mile she walks. Philippe will raise 20 plus five for each mile he walks. The total amount can be, each will raise will be calculated using the following expressions where N stands for the number of miles walked. Sandy is 30 plus 2.5 N, Philippe is 20 plus five N. After how many miles will Sandy and Philippe have raised the same amount of money? So, we know that these two are um, equations written in slope-intercept form because if you look at our song, y is mx plus b, y is mx plus b, m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept. So here, since we have two equations, we can use um, a system of equations. So we can say y equals 30 plus 2.5n, and then the next one is y equals 20 plus 5n. So here, all we have to do is to just solve this using substitution because you have y equals and y equals. So we have 30 um, plus 2.5n equals 20 plus 5n. So what, what we have to do is to isolate n by itself, order of, order of operations in reverse, let's solve this with pride. If you see a minus sign, you add, and if it's multiply, you divide. So if you do order of operations in reverse, we get, um, we see addition. So we have to reverse that with subtraction. So we do that. So we have 2.5n equals um five um wait no we we have um 10 plus 2.5 n plus uh um, equals 5 n so when we subtract 2.5 n from both sides we get 10 equals 2.5n and to get n by itself you would divide both sides by 2.5 so the answer would just be 4. So how was the first question? Did you think it was easy or difficult? Feel free to drop it in the comments. If you feel stressed out about this EOC and or other final exams coming up, here's an awesome message about an awesome study tool coming from today's sponsor MapleSoft. Y'all, final season is coming up. If y'all are like super stressed or you have no idea how to study or prepare, don't worry, I got you. All you need to do is check out Maple Learn, which is a really, really, really cool digital math notebook. All you have to do after going onto the Maple Learn website and creating an account is to open a new document. Once you do that, you can add text and equations as well as declare functions, which will automatically be graphed. If you come across an equation that you have no idea how to solve, look under the graph and you should see a solve for x option. Once you solve for x, if you still want to know the different steps, all you have to do is to click on steps and Maple Learn will generate a document of all the steps that you walk through in order to solve that particular problem. If there are gaps in your knowledge, you can visit the Maple Learn Gallery, which is in on the homepage, to see more already created documents by students and teachers on a variety of different math concepts. Check out Maple Learn through the link in our description. Now let's move on to the next question. Akeem weighs 140 pounds and hopes to add weight in order to play football. He hopes to gain between 0.5 to a pound per week over the next 10 weeks. Akeem will record his progress on the graph below. On the graph, the solid line represents a weight gain rate of exactly one pound per week. The dotted line represents a weight gain of exactly 0.5 pounds a week. So if Akeem gains more than one pound a week, which region on the graph will contain all possible points that could represent Akeem's weight gain process, progress? So here, the, the, this is the line that represents change in y over change in x for one, and this represents one, 0.5. So remember to calculate slope, it's to calculate it, what you do next is take the change in y, divide by change in x. So if the change in y over the change in x here is 1. So when we want, let's say that we want 
what what the line would look like if he gains two pounds per week. So in this case, the change in y, which is the rise, would be two in this case, and then the run would be one. So you would have something here, and then you go up to here, up to here. So as you can see, we're clearly in region C. So that would be our answer for if he um, gained more than one pound a week. Next question. Um, Lena sells earrings from a booth at the art fair. She pays $200 to rent the booth. She makes $5 from each pair of earrings she sells. Her profit can be found using the following equation. P equals 5N minus 200. How many pairs of earrings must Lena sell in order to earn a profit of 450? So P here clearly represents profit. So we would substitute 450 where we see P. So we would say 450 um, equals 5N minus 200. So here this just becomes a normal equation that you would solve. So feel free to solve this like on your own as well. But you, you would add 200 to both sides. So you would get 650 equals 5n. So what do you have to do to solve this equation? Um, the, the, the variable is a placeholder. So we, we need to get the, the, the variable by itself. So then you would divide both sides by 5 and you would get um, 130, which is our answer for the pairs of earrings that she has to sell. Okay. So given the relation, um, uh, um, these elements, what is the sum of all the elements in the range? So let's look back at our song called Domain and Range. Domain and range, domain and range. Domain is all the x values and range is all the y's. So the range is all the y values here. So we have 5, 2, 7. 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. So we you would just put 11 here and that is our answer. Now, this next one is, what is the value of x in the equation uh, minus 3x plus 19 equals 2x plus 106? So this is just a normal equation, right? So the first thing you would have to do is to isolate x. So we, we can easily do this by adding 3x to both sides. Okay, so then we have 19 equals 5x plus 106. So now we can just subtract 106 from both sides. Okay, um, I guess how I like to do it is to subtract, is to do 106 minus 19 and then just like flip and just add the negative sign. So we have uh, 10 minus 1, 9. So we have 16 minus 9 is 7, 9 minus 1 is 8. So this will be minus 87 and then you put that over 5. So then you would have 5, 1. Uh, and then you would subtract 3, uh, so this would be 3, 7, so then we have 5, 7s are 35, minus 35, and then we have 2, we add the decimal point there, and then have 4, and because um, you are dividing a negative by a positive, this answer right here will be negative. So we have minus 17.4. Okay, so, so then we have um, 243 um, minus 75 equals root n. What is the value of n? Okay, so what we need to do here is to make sure that whatever is inside um the the square root has to be the same for, for for both of these for us to be able to subtract so let us do that really quickly so what are the different um how can we simplify root 75 let's try to do that first so we know that 25, which is a square, goes into 75. So um, root 75 
can just be equal to um, 25 times 3. And the square root of 25 is just 5. So if we move 25 outside, we have to square root it. So that is 5 root 3. So in order for um, us to be able to subtract, 243 must also have um, root 3 inside. <laughs> so let's divide um, let's divide 243 by 3 and see what we get. So then that would just be 81 times 3. And the square root of 81 is obviously 9. So then it would just be 9 root 3. So 9 root 3 minus 5 root 3 is just 4 root 3. Um, I am not from Florida, so I don't know how you would write this out. But I'm, I'm just putting 4 root 3 on here. So for number 7, what is the solution of the systems of equations shown, shown below? So we have y equals 4x minus 10 and y equals 2x. So what's the easiest way that we could do this? Since we have um, y and y, let's solve using substitution. Um, so then we have 4x minus 10 equals 2x. So this, this literally becomes a normal equation that you would solve. So you would subtract 4x to isolate the variable because we're doing order of operations in reverse. So we have minus 10 equals minus 2x and then you would divide both sides by minus 2 and you have x is equal to 5. Before we even solve for y we can we can see that only one of these answer choices has x equals 5 so we just choose that as our answer and move on but if you want you can check if, if 10 is correct for y. Okay in her catering business Maria prepares and serves Italian food the amount of lasagna prepared is, accor is according to the following table. So 10 guests, 3 pans of lasagna, 20 pans, six gu uh, twenty guests, 6 pans of lasagna, 30 guests, 9 pans of, of lasagna, and 40 guests, 12 pans of lasagna. So let's, um, based on what we're seeing here, we need to find the rate of change. And let's do that by finding the change in y over the change in x and seeing if it is the same. So uh, I assume number of guests is x because that is the independent variable. Um, so that is 10, uh, that is 10, that is 10. And then here we have um, 3, 3, 3. So, so the slope in this case is obviously 3 over 10 so and, and then now let's find um we can write this equation out in point slope form because we have a point and a slope right so um in, in our point slope form in, in our song about point slope form uh we talk about how to write an equation so let's do 10 and 3. so it's the equation starts with a y subtract y1 then equal it 2m times the Distance between, um, wait, no, th th this is supposed to be three. Um, distance between x and x1, and then you're done. So then you, you would just add three to both sides. So then you, you would have, um, y, um, okay, so now let's, let's plug in 250 in here. So y equals 310 times, uh, it, it, it just 250 minus 10, so that's 240, and then you add 3. So then you would do that. Okay, so you would have 24 times 3 is 72, plus 3 is 75, so it would be 75 pans of lasagna. Now, um, 75. Now, now let's move on to number nine. Okay, which of the following equations describes the relationship between x and y? So it's kind of similar to what we did here, except right off the bat, we see that we have the y-intercept provided for us. And since we have the y-intercept, we can graph using slope-intercept form, 
which is m is the slope of the line and b is the y intercept so now all we need to do is to find the slope which is the change in y over the change in x so change in y you would have this is four 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 and then the change in x is two two and then two and then in, in this case we would have four over two and then the slope is just two so already we can get rid of these and then the, the y-intercept um yeah we can get rid of this too the y-intercept is minus two which was provided here so that is our answer um now with number 10 L Lamar works in the quality control section of a toy company. The factory is producing 3,000 steel man action figures. Lamar randomly chose 120 of them and had them examined for defects. Of these 120 figures, 8 of them had defects. Um, if this ratio is true for all 3,000 3, figures, how many additional figures um, of the remaining 2,880 figures would have defects? Okay, so... We, we have um, 8 out of 120. This is a problem where we have to use ratios and proportions. So if the proportion is equal, we would say that um, 2,880 um, over x. So then we would have 100, 120x equals um, 2,880 times 8, and I'm going to do the math really quick, um, 0, 8 times 8 is 64, 70, um, two, eight, 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 2 is 16, 7 is 20, okay, so we have 20, 3, 0, 4, 0, divided by 120. Let me get my calculator out. So when you put this into your calculator, you, you would get um, um, 2,880 times 8, and you divide that by 120, and you would get 192, and that is your answer. For, for some reason, I absolutely struggle with the dividing.